Thank you. Thank you to everyone who continues to support my work and continues to show support towards my channel. Thank you to everyone who has donated to my GoFundMe campaign. I know that I have mentioned in the past that I was working with someone with regards to my citizenship application. I want you to know that everything now is in process. Thanks to you. I'll be sure to let you know when I become a Canadian citizen so that perhaps we could go out and celebrate together. Now I have to be honest with you and inform you that there are a couple of really amazing people who are helping me grow this channel. And I had spoken to them initially about my status here in Canada and um, my, my situation with my citizenship. And it was then that suggested and then actually proceeded to help me with the GoFundMe campaign. In all honesty, I did not think that we should do it. I did not think that we should proceed. Because who am I? I am not special. Yet, I was proven wrong. And it was you that proved me wrong by your endless support and by your donations. So despite my own apprehension, they did encourage me and we did see this through and I remain in shock over the results. I am deeply humbled and I am deeply grateful and thank you again. Now, many of you who donated to my campaign were not even here in Canada. Many were from Europe the States, Australia, and even Mexico. So I really can't believe it. And I know that I had said that I wanted to continue my work on this channel and I've been giving it some thought. So here goes. Now you all know that I have a no Islamist pledge and I am a firm believer that this pledge is going to be the litmus test that is needed for us to force our politicians to take the problem of political Islamic entryism seriously. I would like to continue doing these videos. I would like to continue my advocacy. And I would also like to begin speaking in venues inside of Canada and eventually outside of Canada, but I can't do this on my own and it's literally impossible to fund this task on a sole basis. So what I have done is I have modified my GoFundMe campaign. I guess we could call this now phase two, where I would move towards doing this on a full-time basis. My goal is to get as many Canadian politicians as humanly possible to sign my No Islamist Pledge. This is why I have modified my GoFundMe campaign. And this is why I have refreshed its goal. If successful, this will allow me to begin advocating and applying pressure on our politicians. We are in an election season in Canada and whether you know it or not, politicians are at their weakest point in time now. This is when we make our demands. And I vow to you, your contributions will be put to good use. We will begin by getting as many politicians to sign this pledge. And who knows, I might be in your city soon, speaking about one of these topics that I'm passionate about. And remember, there are millions of women that remain living under oppressive circumstances, under the constant threat of extremism, 
I know this because I used to be one of these women. Now I get letters of support and emails from the women that are living under the threat of extremism. And by the way, they're not all in the Middle East or in Muslim majority countries or in third world countries. A lot of these women live within the borders of Western nations in ghettoized communities that are governed by extremists. So help me, please contribute. We can start with the pledge, like I said. We'll get as many candidates in this country to sign it. And like I said, again, remember, please print the pledge. Please leave copies next to your door. We are in election season in Canada. When they come knocking at your door, asking for your votes, asking for your donations, ask them to sign the pledge. If they refuse, don't vote for them. Simple. So thank you. Thank you for your continued support. I love you all.